Hello, welcome to episode 4 of our Ostrov Alpha 5 Let's Play. It is December of 1725 in our town. We have 74 people, and last episode we finally built, no, zoom in too much, finally built our first row house, and it is fully occupied. Three families and a store in the bottom that uh, currently is not selling anything, but we will... Uh, effort getting that filled up and this one as well has taken care of some other stuff that we've had to do for a very long time including finally setting up a camp camp town hall excuse me camp center is what is right here but we've been needing to get this set up for quite some time so we can take care of different taxes and other various things that the town needs in addition to that we have all of this down here that we just started last episode we have the brickworks we have fishing docks we've got a boatyard and we have plenty of space to put more stuff in we just need some more people to actually work all of this and we can also start getting into some other production chains as well so in keeping with that we're going to go ahead and probably do the town hall first see if i can find a good spot for this that's not going to be completely ridiculous I do like the idea of having this kind of centrally located. So I'm probably going to go ahead and just stick this right about here. You'll see why in a little bit. I like to keep the campfire and not get rid of it because that is uh, something that's not allowed to be built again once it's demolished. And we can turn it into a little park in front of the town hall like we did in the last Let's Play. I thought that was kind of fun. Anyway, once that is constructed, then this tent will disappear. And we'll be able to have a lot more control over all of this stuff. We can adjust all these taxes because we have quite a few families with over 100 wealth and uh, they're not going to do anything with it so we can just take it right on back and stop being broke. This is the way things go here in Ostrov Town. I think we're actually in a pretty decent spot with regard to how many people we have available for working. Remember we do have a farm over here that has to be properly taken care of. We have five fields. They're not all full size. In fact, none of them are full size. None of them are even really close to full size. But they are going to need to be done in an expeditious manner. So we should still be okay with that. We're rotating through crops. We're going to have a fallow field pretty much every... Uh, if I'm looking at this correctly, every cycle now, depending on how this is set up, this is on a three-year rotation, this is on a three-year rotation, so at the very least, two out of every three years we'll have one of these fallow, I believe is how that probability works. And then, uh, I think the way these are set up should be fine. We're going to end up actually getting it properly set up once we have enough people to fully staff everything. But that is a very long process. And not something we can really, really do immediately at the start of a playthrough. So general thoughts on this area up here while we're waiting for them to build this town hall. This is one of the only areas of truly flat land in the immediate starting point of the map. So I think our big buildings like our row house and everything else are probably going to want to stay up here for now. And this would be a very good just general center of the town anyway because it's... Well, it's pretty much the exact center of the map in terms of uh, all the rest of this. We do have another one over here that's pretty flat at the top. But again, we're not over there yet, and it's going to be a while before we are. So having everything kind of centered around stuff here just makes sense. And we are going to build more row houses. Uh, we just can't build too many at once because, remember, this one holds three families. The other two-story that doesn't have a store on the bottom is going to hold four, and then the three stories I think will hold six. If I'm uh, remembering correctly, we'll find out. We are going to build some of those eventually, but we can't grow too much too fast. Because remember, these people can't grow any crops in a garden because, well, they're in a they're in an apartment in a multi-story brick building. You, you're just not going to do that. So we are going to have to make sure we keep up our food production before we go too crazy with these guys. Which is why, up until that point, I'd been building every single house with a garden. We are going to get into regular houses without gardens, and probably start relying a lot more on farming 
and people selling their goods versus just having everybody grow their own crops, especially now that these things have a shelf life. You can't just hoard, say, 150,000 honey in your, uh, <laughs> your warehouses and just use that forever and ever and ever. No. No, this, this stuff doesn't last forever anymore. And that is going to make us think a little more carefully about how we have this stuff set up. And we have... All of these are just things that people grew in their gardens. That's honestly not even enough slots for it. We probably should have just built a regular one somewhere else. But I didn't want stuff to be uh, really ridiculous looking with all these things everywhere. But I do think we need to put one of them in this general area. Because when we have these stalls here, we also have the store here that is going to need stuff. And we can stock in the large granary. We can have everything we grow on the farm. And we can have some more stuff that this one isn't stocking. Or we can hold more stock. It just depends on what people have available. But once that's taken care of, we can start filling this up. And then probably think about putting in some more row houses. Because it would be very helpful to have a bunch of laborers, especially as the farm starts to grow. And it becomes more difficult to harvest everything in one season. And adding on to that, since we're still in January, we have time to kind of plan this out. I do want to grow more stuff on the farm, but I'm hesitant to really do too much of that without having a really, again, a really robust labor force. So we might not this season, but we probably could start growing stuff like hops if we can find a good spot to put it. I know I was thinking about maybe down here, but I just really, I don't think that's the best spot for it. And we have this big hill I think if we were careful how we place the buildings, we might be able to put a lot of this stuff on a hillside because it's, it's literally just the building that has to be able to, you know, sit somewhere. So if we were, for example, to do that, we're able to do something maybe like this and just have this whole thing kind of, uh, set up in a way that would, uh, make the most sense for wherever the building has to go. See, like, that works okay. It's just kind of built into the side of the hill. But see, something like this that is taking advantage of the space that we can't put anything else on, I think is a smart way to do business. So we can actually just go ahead and extend this all the way down, or at least part of the way down, and kind of make, a, uh, make an arc here. I do wish I had some more degree of control over the shape of these things. The four corners is nice. But sometimes I just wish I could put like a dent in one more of these straight line fences. That would be very convenient. But at any rate, if we put... Actually, we could even just put this right down here at the front and be just as fine. Put that guy there. Then I don't think we can fit the actual brewery on the hill and that's probably a pipe dream for just about all of this but we can use the hillside to grow again which is perfectly fine and then we can find some space down here to do similar stuff we just want to make sure we're taking good advantage of what we have access to here we could even put some more orchards probably but we don't need any more right now we're still a year year and a half ish away from being able to actually harvest these trees so that is A-OK. -okay. And in the same vein as the hop yard, we can also, and we probably should be, thinking about growing additional trees and having our reforestation areas over here because, again, trees do not care. Well, they shouldn't care. And this forestry is probably not going to stay here forever. It's probably going to become more houses, honestly. We'll just end up moving some stuff because now this isn't really, uh, isn't really super convenient to uh fill these trees no more but i am going to go ahead and take the opportunity to plant some trees down here yeah there we go too long huh i thought that was gonna be just fine so why why is that saying it's too long oh it wants me to do the other corner that's right we had this whole song and dance before so that is actually, well, it doesn't have to be square. There's no law that says it has to be. See, something like that, growing trees on the side, is probably a pretty smart use of space. 
and we could even have a second one. Don't forget we have our iron ore deposits. Deposits, wow. Iron ore deposits on uh, both sides, although it's mostly on this side. So this will be a good use of space, I think. Now, I was hoping I could kind of cheese it with the warehouses on the side of the hill here. And to some degree, I kind of can. But not not as much as I was uh, hoping. Still, though, I think I think I can get by just putting a couple next to each other here. Can I get a third? No, it's just going to be those two, but that's okay. We are going to need to store stuff that comes out of the mines and other stuff that gets built here eventually. But for now, we filled up our queue enough to uh, to do a little bit of stuff. So we'll go ahead and put on our turbo speed, let them do a little bit of building. And to answer other questions, yes, we are going to finally build some uh, burial plots because uh, old boy has been sitting here for a long time. And uh, yeah, no, <laughs> we, we, we can't have dead bodies not get buried. It's just really hard in the early game to figure out what you're doing with a whole bunch of different stuff. So we should be, for too long, having enough uh, stuff to start construction. I know they will. Oh, I heard noises. I heard construction noises. Or was that somebody in the carpentry, maybe? That must have been what it was. You know, I figured they would have started by now. Alright, so... Okay, they still have stuff. They're good. These guys are good. Uh, supposedly one of the uh, patch fixes, if you notice, we're on 5.0.3, or 0.5.0.3. There's been a couple of uh, bug fix patches and stuff like that, and I guess now the carpentry gets more resources from the smithy, which is fantastic because I always thought these were incredibly slow at whatever they were doing. Do I still only have two guys working in the, uh... Oh, I have four. Okay. Uh, oh, we have men looking for a job. You know what that means. Come work in the camp center. Yeah, get this thing all figured out. All done up. Once again, the individual beam placing is just fantastic. Shouldn't be too much longer now, then we'll have this whole thing all ready to go. Assuming they actually finish and not all go take rest at the same exact time. They like to do that. And there we go. So that is all ready to go. We have our mayor. We can hire a counselor for seasonal hiring. Uh, we don't really have somebody that's going to be available for that quite yet. So let's go back down to normal speed. I want to set the wealth tax. We're just going to, uh, what is it, shift click? Yeah, there we go. Does control click do anything? No. All right, so we're going to just put a very slight wealth tax on. I'm not going to mess with any of the wages quite yet. Because we do want to... Uh, we want to make sure we're not completely destabilizing the entire economy. I wonder, how often do they pay wealth tax? We're going to get another one of those pity loans in a second, aren't we? It's unfortunate. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? There's not really uh, not really anything you can do. And I don't think they're still... Uh, they haven't gotten over here to start planting trees yet, which is... It's fine. I guess. Uh, I'm going to leave, try to leave this space open for another uh, walkway. Maybe we'll put one of the row houses with the arch in the back coming down here. Oh, that's actually uneven terrain. I'm not going to be able to put one there, am I? I can do... Well, I can kind of do that. All right. Well, we'll get to that later when we uh, have the actual ability to do any of that. Let's come back over here to our granary construction. Putting the pilings in the ground. 
And of course, once this is done, we'll start importing items from the farm. And then all of the other, uh, all the other stuff. These people are complaining about clothing. Well, we're not really in a position to be making any clothing, considering we don't have anything relating to the ability to do that yet. We will get there. We will get there. It just takes time. So we have flax, but we need hemp. And that's what's growing next time around. We can end up buying some of the stuff. Um, how much is hemp? I don't really have any money to be buying a ton of it, so we'll wait a little bit. But we could also just buy textile straight up and just turn that into clothing. We just buy warm clothing straight up. But that's very expensive. That's really something we should be exporting more so than anything else. All right, so this is everything we're currently producing. And that's everything else that we can buy. Wait, people are selling apples? Really? Horseradish, cabbage. Okay, good. It's automatically other stuff that they haven't been uh, stocking in the other one. So that's nice to see. Go ahead and get that figured out. Make sure that's all good to go. And we'll see if we can get all of this stocked up, which then means come into our store. I uh, probably have to hire somebody first. Yep, get all this ticked. It should have been to start with. Uh-oh. How are we how are we have people dying of illness already? I thought that was at 250. Well, that's sad. You gotta the dad dies and then you have the the mom working by herself and the two kids. <sighs> Another one pity loans. Well, we will have something to say about that with our wealth tax. Now, is it going to tell me uh, how much I've been brought... Okay, yeah, good. So let's just uh, tick that up to 10. We'll start bringing in a lot more of that. Uh, yeah, we'll raise land tax a little bit. Because we are going to start building houses that don't have gardens. All right. Now, let's see. Yeah, we're plowing. And this one, we've got buckwheat. This one's going to be a oh, big field of hemp, potato, and sunflowers. And then this one is fallow and being used as a livestock pasture. These trees are starting to look uh, older. Might end up actually being another texture glitch for these to be white. I think, maybe. Okay. No workers. Oh, we can actually have women work here? Okay, that's good. Who do I have? Okay, I've got open vacancies for men, but I don't have any... I don't have anyone of either gender looking for a job. Something tells me the uh, women are going to be a little easier to come by, but we're, we'll just open up... Yep, we'll open up one job for that. I actually don't have any idea how this building works, other than you just grow hops. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. We're not going to be able to do anything with beer for quite some time. I do think we have some um, barley, but we were feeding it to the chickens. Yeah, that's fine. When are we growing barley next? Uh, it's the next cycle in the small field, so that's okay. We have some time. Because I think the, uh, the brewery is going to take yep, barley and hops and all this other stuff. So we have... We have the ability. I could even add, it's early enough, I could add another field that would be the same as these uh, right here. Just grow barley and flax. And just move the fallow field one more slot over. So why don't, why don't we actually do that? There's uh, no rules saying we can't. They're, are they moving out because they didn't have any fashionable, stylish clothing? Well, that is uh, too bad. We'll just add that to the rotation there. Okay, why are you moving out? Yep, no clothes. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but we are not currently equipped to make any clothes. That is one of those things that we just have to be able to do. Are you offering clothing? No. Um, I don't need to sell anything. But I sure wish I could buy some stuff. Textile. So I'll tell you what, we have money. I'm just going to buy textile. Why not? 
I'm going to buy it and we're going to have somebody come in here and start making clothing. So let's see, where can I put... It's going to have to be somewhere over here. We should also think about where we can put our fulling mills eventually. Um, not enough space on the water here, but they can, can come down here. We're going to need probably more than one of these. So if we have, okay, we've got space around the corner, so we could probably, I mean, this land is not level, but let's see Taylor's workshop from textile. Okay. So there's actually space here to do that. That's cool. What if I. I'm again, trying not to be completely beholden to the grid. I know that's a... Uh, it's like the equivalent of what well, your ex texting you, I've changed, take me back. No, just just don't. It's never worth it. Don't do that. But uh, we're going to try to be better. I'll just plop this guy down right here. Uh, I, am, I would eventually like this to be a kind of a self-contained clothing area. So we would have... Where did I lose it again? Fulling mill down here to take care of all the sheep stuff put in a sheep farm if we can find a spot on the uh general area that would work yeah we'll end up we'll end up being fine with some of this at least but it might look oh now they're complaining they don't have any shoes okay you're gonna be whiny about the shoes huh ah <sighs> man do I even have... I don't even have a tannery yet. How are you expecting to be to make shoes? I can't just go buying stuff all the time now, can I? I don't think so. That's that's just not a good idea for everyone involved. Now, do I have somebody working in here? Yes. So I can sell horseradish. I'm going to go ahead and sell more uh, firewood, because we'll need that. We'll sell... Oh, jeez, we haven't even done that yet. Clothing. Let's go ahead and refill this with all the other stuff. And they can come in and get their fix as soon as I import stuff, because apparently these people are going to be mega mad if I don't have any shoes or clothes to sell. <sighs> it's fine. It is what it is. This does seem to be working pretty well. And in terms of food supply... We've got a decent bit. How many how many bricks do we have? 5,300, and I'm gonna get myself in trouble, aren't I? Just put another uh just put another row house in. What about a three-story one? Can I get away with this? I don't want to put the back side of that in. So it's gonna say the place is occupied if I'm too close. But if we come in here with our uh, magical building distortionator 5000, then we can. Uh... That doesn't look too bad. Let's see what we. Uh... Too long. What's too long? Is it this side? Okay, so I guess we didn't actually need to have that be adjusted at all. We just need this to be uh, kind of attached. Okay. Uneven terrain. Come on. I swear to God, this uneven terrain is going to be the death of me in this game. All right. Come on. Come on. We're going we're gonna to get real close. We're going to get real close. All right, that's fine. So that one needs 10,000 bricks. Okay. I should have maybe been a little more careful with that, but this will be a big help to get us some more people in our town. We have the ability to feed them now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Taylor's Workshop. We're going to be uh, probably just hiring women for this, to be honest. I think... We have uh, we have jobs. I can hear them, but the fan of my GPU is absolutely going wild right now. Oh, the joys of recording and playing a game at the same time. 
at any rate, we should be making clothes soon, hopefully. And then they can stop complaining about not having any. We're growing hops. We're supposed to be planting trees. They're just uh, a little, a little busy right now. And the clothing is actually... Yeah, it looks like it's just about done, the first batches, and then that will go up here to be sold in our store. Are you moving out because you couldn't find clothes? Look, you could have just waited, all right? You could have just waited. It would have been perfectly fine. And you're moving out because you couldn't get shoes. What a shame. Well, we'll just fill your home with uh, two other people that want to be here. And this should be... Hopefully, someone moves in soon. Because we did lose a couple of adults that were kind of important. Do we have any clothes in stock? Not really, but we did sell 20 of them, so that's good. People complaining about all of that. Okay, so we planted... Yeah, we got barley, we got sunflower, we got buckwheat, hemp, and potato. That's good. And they moved in. They've got a kid who's almost old enough to work. That's exciting to see. Alright, our slaughterhouse is not currently staffed. Why does it... Oh, they have to have salt. That's a new thing. Salt has to be uh, applied to the cellar and the hides. I did not remember that was a change, but that is a change for Alpha 5. Yep. Cool. So that is all ready to go as soon as we have cows that can actually be slaughtered. I guess we do. We have a lot of bulls we're going to be turning into oxen soon. I suppose probably the easiest thing to just do now. Honestly, we'll take two of those. And they should end up getting automatically ordered for another plow. Should have these guys come down to... Uh, yep, they're both doing that. They've got the oxen right there. And that should be all good to go in not too long of a time. All right, they're demanding shoes. And they're demanding clothes. I can sell you neither. Apples we have in town storage. I can't sell you any of those. We're going to use that. Um, let's go ahead and buy. Buy some of that so we can sell it. I can't buy any pigs yet because we don't have a, a pig sty, and those pigs take a lot of resources, so we're probably not going to be using those at this exact moment. Dried fish. That's actually really cheap for dried fish. We'll go ahead and pick some of that up. Because that will stick around a whole lot longer than the other ones. Because, well, it's uh, it's fish and it's dried. So I don't know what else you uh, want me to say about that. And they're already starting the construction of this three-story row house. So we'll leave that be for a little bit. We're going to need to get rid of this camp cart parking by putting the carts in somewhere else. We already have one down there. So I think maybe down here next to our other uh, kind of working area, can I fit in a cart parking on the side of this, or is it going to get angry with me? Oh, Okay, seems like it might actually uh, might actually let me do that. Let me get that grid back. Oh, it's the grid. You can't use the grid. Um, uneven terrain. You know, this was fine before. So what changed? What changed between five seconds ago and now? I really thought we had something going here. What if I turn it around this way? No? Sideways? Upside down? No? No ideas? Okay, well... Ah. That was a valiant effort. What are these people selling? Nobody is selling shoes. I just need to buy shoes, I guess. Need to make shoes. That's annoying. <laughs> I really want to get some more, uh, more cards in here. I don't want to have to have stuff just be super ugly grit all the time. But you know how this goes. All right, I'll just put one of those there. That's fine. Um, oh, we need lime. Are they selling lime? No. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll just hold off on that for a little bit. 
How are we doing on our stock of clothing? We don't have any. Okay. Well, they must just be buying all of it immediately. I think it's probably about time for another, uh, another well. Oh, we have these stone wells we haven't done anything with. Those will be, uh, hopefully, hopefully a big help for us. And my GPU is exhausting, like, oven quality hot air onto my legs right now. And that's a, that's a weird sensation. So let's um, put in, I think I can fit one right here in the corner, kind of. Uh, do I want to, I guess I could just put it right here. No harm in putting that there. I love how this has a, uh, has some floating brick. Hmm. I think something might be missing on the corner here. Maybe just a hunch. Look how fast this windmill's going. It is turbo. Okay, that's a much more reasonable speed on one time speed. Okay, hops are, well, growth. Hops are growth. They're, uh, they're on their way. We're already harvesting. Looks good. Our capacity is not nearly full yet. But I guess we need to uh, need to probably get on the whole uh, making shoes thing, don't we? So we need a tannery, which means we need to put in is that over here? I can't read. Why can't I find... There it is. That's embarrassing. Uh, I think... What do these require again? Bark. Oh, there's that lime again. We have to start producing bark. Oh, what a shame. Uh, let's see. Stone mining camp. Lime kiln. Lime works. I think the kiln doesn't require anyone to uh, actually be working there. But we can go ahead and probably put this right next door here. If I can find a good spot for it, that is. Yeah, we'll just stick that right there. I think probably we're going to want to put a, a warehouse right next to it so we can store some of this other stuff. And then a lime works can probably also be right here in this same kind of area as well. Uh, let's see if I can just find a uh, kind of adjacent spot. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. Just right there. I'm going to go ahead and put another little platform right here where it's not going to be super in the way right next to the bridge that's going to keep them occupied for quite some time I'll just uh, have them take care of all that and in the meantime I think we should be doing okay most of this food stuff will carry us through the next winter without issue is there anyone else we can uh, uh, apricots there we go are we actually harvesting? Oh, we are. Okay, cool. I guess we haven't got apples yet, or we already got those out. How about them apples? Uh, 150 apricots, 356 cherries. So there's actually stuff that we can... Uh, there we go. Stuff that we can actually start selling in the store, so that's cool. Now, are we making money with our wealth tax? Yes, we are. Very good. Uh, we should probably think about maybe uh, soon. We're not going to build a tavern until we can produce our own alcohol. So that's uh, that's going to be a little while yet. Although we are harvesting, are harvesting the hops, and they don't expire. They don't go bad, which is a good thing because our brewery requires hops and uh, barley and also lime. So you know, it's kind of a Kind of one of those things that you just have to uh, just have to be on top of all of this. We need a charcoal pile as well over here, which I think we could just stick right here in the uh, one of the lime works. Even though lime kiln is one that needs it, that is a pretty convenient spot to stick that. All right, you're selling lime. I kind of just want to buy some and get it over with, because it is going to be a while before this is up and running. But it is going to be nice for us to be able to make our own. 
Oh, that's so expensive. I'm not going to buy 3,000. I'll buy, uh... I'll buy 500. That's okay. I could sell buckwheat, but it, it's not really worth much. And I think, it, uh... Well, it is in the export stock, but if I sell it, it's going to get refilled. Charcoal. If we had enough to sell 8,000, or 8,500, rather, I think we'd be in a pretty good spot to make a bunch of money with that. But, uh... We don't currently have any in storage, and we're not currently cutting enough trees to really make that worthwhile yet. We've got plenty of apples. Don't have any honey yet. Don't have any raspberries. Uh, we still have some sallow. We still have... Quit jumping around. Dried fish. Um, we could We could buy leather. It's expensive. But we could buy it. Let's say, um, let's say buy 500 leather, and I can have them start making some shoes until we can get our, uh, everything else figured out. Shoemaker's Workshop. We can kind of do a lot of this kind of production over here. Just stick that right there. All right, Lime Kiln. Get your thing going on here. So in terms of firewood, do we not have any firewood? Did we use all of it? Ooh, don't like that at all. Yeah, we definitely need more firewood. That is a problem. I think we'd need to go ahead and hire on some more guys to work in the uh, in the forestry here. Who else can I uh, cut somebody out of the uh, builders? Yeah, we just need uh, a prodigious amount of firewood, or these people are going to be uh, having a real bad time. There we go. Yeah, get those logs, get that firewood. So we definitely, definitely need it. Okay, warehouse is... Uh, Working. We do have a warehouse space up here. We haven't been using it because, well, what are, what are we going to store in this? It's probably going to end up being iron. Uh, cart parking. First off, we need to relocate these three carts over here and then order a fourth. And then once these are all relocated, we can demolish this and reclaim this space. But we're going to have to have those taken out first. Uh, okay, that should... Don't bring it back here, just take it to the other one. Okay, there it goes. And that's gone. Cool. So that solves that problem. I don't need to buy anything else from them. Uh, I don't need to sell anything either. I think we're doing okay for now. This warehouse is all done. Well, just about. Um, I think this probably would be a good place to put in charcoal. And what else goes in here? These other buildings can hold all the lime, but we can do charcoal and firewood to the tune of 5k each. Sounds like a smart idea. We need to have storage for that stuff in the town anyway. And we can kind of automatically set a lot of these things which is probably what we uh, should be doing in the first place. Yeah, that's not that's not terrible. We'll just have those there for right now. I don't think we need anybody working there either. Yes, I know you're complaining about shoes. Soon you will have your shoemaker's workshop. And how about that? I'll just get it up in front just for you. So please don't leave. Because <laughs> we definitely need to get some people in here to make some shoes. How are we doing here? we have anything else we can sell? Cabbage. We sure do. Need a whole bunch more brick and a whole bunch more lime. Well, we're working on it. You gotta trust the process. Oh, there's a gap under here. That's going to bug me. 
until I completely ignore it forever. Yes, 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 I know you want shoes. You gotta have your shoes. You're not looking for a job because you have too much money. So you know what that means. Wealth tax. Again. That seems to have helped a little bit. You know what, let's just go all the way up to 20. Why not? Go for broke. Now I bet you go look for a job. Maybe. Well. Nobody's perfect, what can I say? All right, so they're gonna take care of that. Let's go ahead before we have a, uh, a riot on our hands here. Put in a couple of burial plots. Just right here next to the town hall. So there's three, we'll go four, we'll go five wide. Just to start right there. I think now the update that we just got will allow family to come visit grave sites, which is cool. It's a nice bit of realism there. So we kind of can't just slap these down anywhere. They're going to need to be in a kind of convenient location. Are you really still haven't built this yet? Come on. We can't keep having hour 15 <laughs> minute episodes for this every single day now, can we? Well, there's probably some of you that would really like that, myself included. But it's just uh, not the smartest thing to be doing. All right, you're moving out because you didn't have shoes. Eh, it happens. Let's see, do I have another uh, couple of bulls I can turn into oxen? Yes. All right, so that'll be end up being ordered. We got our six fields. Um, how did this end up being? Oh, this one needs to be hemp instead of flax. That's what I was doing. That's fine. New family is settling in our town. Yeah, guess what? Oh, yeah, look at that. We got six workers. Six workers. You'd love to see that. All right, Shoemaker's Workshop it is complete, and they can start making the shoes. We have leather. I guess it doesn't matter who works here. As the town gets bigger, the gendered jobs start to matter less and less. But in the beginning, it sure is rough. All right, so now we're having the uh, lime works here is our top uh, priority. So I really want to make sure we get this row house done before the end of today's episode. We got time. And then I wanted to actually get brewing going. But we've got to find a good spot for it. We do have... Well, I thought we did. Are we seriously feeding all of our barley to the chickens? Well, we shouldn't have to now that we have all these other, other resources. I think I'd rather do buckwheat to the chickens instead of barley. Yeah, we need that for brewing. Sorry, chickens. So let's, uh, do I have warehouse space over here? I do not. All right, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to, I don't have wagons. Stop it. Uh, we're going to move resource by cart to the farm. After I didn't, oh, I don't I have to have a cart shed for that? Oh, is that new? Am I just dense? Uh, I can't just do it by laborers, can I? All right, that's, uh. Unfortunate. Now, these guys are selling. I don't think I really need to buy any of this. Definitely don't. So I guess, I mean, it was about time anyway that we had a cart shed. But we're going to need, uh, going to need one, it seems. Now, where would be a good spot to put this? Because there's going to be a lot of production happening down here. So... This probably wouldn't be a bad spot, honestly. Just uh, back down beside all this. Why not? In fact, that's more important than the lime works, so go ahead and uh, go ahead and build that next. Then I think we'll go ahead and put in 
Our brewery, uneven terrain. Anywhere over here that's not uneven terrain? So I kind of, I want to put something here, but I guess it's, uh, I guess it's too uneven. So our hops are right here. Not that it really matters. If I rotate a little bit, is that going to do anything? No. Well, I mean, I could put it right here, but that's a terrible spot for it. We have our fish. Okay, this actually isn't the worst. Not the worst spot. It's definitely not the best. But I think that's probably still okay. At least for, uh, for right now. Let's see. Of course, that's going to take a ton of bricks, because it always does. And then we have a distillery. Can I put that right next door? Uneven terrain. Thank you, Mr. Uneven Terrain. Now I can put that here. Can I move it a little closer to those? All right. That's actually not a terrible spot for it. We'll leave a little bit of a pathway here. I doubt all that gets built today, but we will certainly do our best. If we can actually finish the construction of this row house, we should have plenty of additional workers to be able to take care of the rest of this stuff. And we also should have some shoes for sale, and uh, they're in the process of doing that, which is good. We just need to get some people hauling stuff around, which is part of the reason. One of the carts should be built first. But they sure are taking their sweet time, aren't they? Yeah, I don't think... We have flour, we have 653. Okay, that's... Uh, I didn't have anybody hired at the fishing dock because it was a uh, seasonal hiring. Because I didn't have anybody hired as a counselor. So let's see. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a woman to come in as a counselor. Then hire out a uh, seasonal hiring stuff. Maybe not. Counselor, can I increase the wage a little bit more to try and entice people? No? Well, this is the best way to get people to actually want to work a job is to pay them what they're worth. Kind of a crazy concept, I know. Man, are we just that hard up on workers? I didn't think things were that bad, although we could, uh, could go down to three guys in the forestry. There we go. All right, so now we can manage our seasonal hiring. I should have done this a long time ago. But especially the fishing dock. Very, very important that you have seasonal hiring turned on. And uncheck the months of the year where the whole thing is frozen over. That just makes things so much easier. There we go. Those two, at the very least, will be taken care of in that regard. I know you're not complaining about shoes. We can actually make those now. Oh, we're out of leather? Really? No, we're not. We have 350 in the trading post. Go get your leather, man. Come on. Oh, the game is paused. That's why you couldn't do that. Yes, supply your resources. Please walk all the way across town to get a cart. I guess that just means I should have a cart over there, doesn't it? We probably should have one right here next to the uh, trading post, shouldn't we? Cart, parking. Oh, I don't have anywhere I can put this. Not one spot, really? Uneven terrain is going to be the death of me. What about on this side of the... Uh... Really? Okay, that's... Uh... Well, I could put one here, I guess. It's not the most beautiful place for one, but, uh... It is what it is. We'll just, uh, we'll just stick that there. What are you complaining about now? All carts need repair? No, they don't. Uh... Can this guy not get to it? Is that what the, uh, is that the deal is? I can't force repair this. Let's see. The rest of this seems to be looking okay. 
Don't need to buy cows. I could just buy some lime. But I really shouldn't. I should be better than that. Charcoal we still don't have a ton of. Did they even start planting any of these trees yet? Okay, they did. They planted some of them. Well, that's fine. Cart shed. Let's order some carts. And then have, uh, for some reason, only men can work here. But we'll get at least one guy in there. That'll be A-OK. -okay. I know they're complaining about the shoes. Okay, nobody working here, nobody working there. Still don't have anybody in the slaughterhouse. That's uh, not ideal, but it does seem to work okay. Uh, brickworks, brickworks. Do we have all the, uh, you know, they still need 3,700 bricks. So maybe we shouldn't mess with that. We just, ah, we need the lime works, man. Let's go, guys. Get this thing built. So I know we have shoes. So they need to stop complaining about not having shoes. Just come buy some shoes. It is an easy solution. It involves you coming to buy shoes. And that's it. We just need more bodies. Once again, I'm trying to do entirely too much with a very small town. And we're going to have to start building some more houses over here too. Because now they're all kind of far away. You're moving out. Why? Because of shoes? Yes. All right. That's fine. Someone else will also just take your place and be able to have more people that can work. I promise you we're working on the shoes. You should have known we've only been here for six years. That's not enough time to get shoe supply. Not been running. That was a marriage. Okay, so that's not the best scenario for having more bodies when you just take up a house slot without adding population. All right, come on. Finish this thing. Let's get this thing going, man. Come on. Yeah, we're going nowhere fast. I guess I can take the... Th uh, I'll just... I'll just hire more guys for construction. If they want to work, they can work. I can't really take the guy out of the smithy. Or the trading post, for that matter. Although, I guess I could. Alright, this guy is, uh... Hopefully gonna do his thing here. Cart some resources around. Looks like he is. Okay, this is just about done anyway. Alright. Lime works. Working that lime. So it's going to take water and quicklime. We can only make quicklime by layering charcoal for the lime kiln with actual limestone. And they're looking for a laborer to do that. We don't have enough bodies really to, uh, to do much more laboring. So I think... If we incentivize them with higher pay, they will come and layer all of the stuff and we can actually maybe start with something. Well, they said they were going to show up at least. All right, we have a platform right there, so that should help considerably with these other things here. There we go. I, I always love watching them just walk up these stairs and dump stuff off the side. Doink. You can't really see the animation when you're going uh, this fast. But they do do it. You're still waiting for charcoal, huh? But you, you have charcoal. You have 2,068 charcoal. Is that not enough charcoal? Is that just uh, is that just not how this works? Well, we're making progress here at least. I just don't know how much more of this they can do before they need to have uh, additional bricks and lime. 
Yep, now they're complaining about no lime. Well, that's fine. It is what it is. At least we have all the bricks. Or at least we will have all the bricks when they're done unloading everything. Alright. Do you have... You do have lime. Do I dare, instead of actually making the lime that we've been spending all this time, all this time for all this lime that we don't have? So I think, oh no, they're, uh, they're working on that. I think we can leave it be for just a little bit here. Anything else we want to buy? I don't think so. Doesn't seem to be the case. We can sell them some potatoes, though. Not 3,000 potatoes. No, no, no. We're selling 300. That's fine. And, okay, yeah, now they actually need the lime. So how much How much is it? 400, 420. 420 lime. So guess what we're going to buy? 420 lime. That's fine. We're going to end up making it anyway, so it, it doesn't really... Uh, doesn't really bother me that much if we have to import some. The end goal, obviously, is to actually make everything yourself, but in the interest of interesting uh, gameplay, I think it's more to our advantage to just figure out how to play the game to get stuff done, rather than to wait excruciatingly long periods of time to make stuff happen. My opinion, at least. So they should... I really, I don't think there's too much more that they have to do to get this whole thing started. I don't think they have to fill it all the way up. But it definitely seems like it's a little bit of a slow project. Okay, and this one needs lime. We're definitely not going to finish the, either of these without lime. But getting the housing done first, that's important. So we should have coming in soon, and here's our lime. Should be going right over here. Yep, all resources collected. Love to see that. So now we can watch them build the last floor of our row house here. And then we should have a bunch of families come in, fill in a bunch of jobs, and we'll be all good to go. Well, for that stuff at least. Yeah, unload that lime and let these builders come back and do their thing. He says, staring blankly at the non-moving construction site in the middle of the screen. All right, my guy, where are, you, where are you at? Supplying, getting a cart, taking rest, taking rest, taking rest. That's that's fine. There you go. I guess we got to get closer to hear the sounds of bricks. I don't think that really makes much of a sound, but the timber does. I appreciate the modularity of the design here. There's the sounds. Alright, come on, let's finish this up. Then you can all go take a rest before you go build everything else. There we go. So now this should... Yeah, six apartments. Look at that. Love to see that. Love to see that. And that looks so good, too. Look, we're casting a shadow on our, uh, on our hop fields. That's, uh... Probably not the best thing for them. But we have our messenger here. What are they offering? Oh, I, I I cannot buy any more lime. I can't. I've been I've been buying too much lime just to get this whole thing done. Got an apartment filled here. All right, looking good. Looking good. Is this full yet? No. Still somehow. Somehow this is not full. Wow. What a what a fun time that is. Okay. Man, that's a lot of wood required. Okay, how are we looking on our firewood supply? Yeah, that's not looking great. I think <laughs> I think we're gonna have to have another uh, another forester forestry down here, or I could just you know have enough guys working this one. 
Don't need to be making bark quite yet. But we will before we do any tanning. Okay, how many of these? We got three of these full now? Cool. And this is such a game changer, having these high-density housings right here. That is absolutely fantastic. That looks cool, too. Alright. This is still not full. This is why I have trust issues. Because all these be all these people said, oh yeah, we're gonna We're gonna go be laborers. Uh okay. How are we looking on our uh, yeah, the wealth tax is doing its job. Although we theoretically could have it lower than a hundred. But a hundred is fine. Making a decent bit of money off of that. Uh I guess uh it seems to be okay. Are these full yet? Okay, no, we have one more. That might actually get us over a hundred. Food wise, we're still looking uh pretty good. Looking pretty good. All these are full, right? No, but I don't have anything else I can put in there yet. Alright, that's uh fine. Come on, man, just Nobody's going to finish this, really? What if I increase the wages even more? Anybody? Any takers? No? What about even more? 200% salary and nobody wants to come do this. Well, that's, uh... Unfortunate. Okay, three kids... We've got a nice variety here. Cool. All right. How are we doing here? There is no more leather. Is there actually no more leather? Okay, there actually is no more leather. Don't have warm clothes. They're going to complain about that, but we'll, uh, we'll have to get there when we get there, folks. Unless they're selling warm clothing, which they are not. They're asking for shoes. Asking for buckwheat. I'm not going to sell any of it because we uh, are not in a position to sell. Wow, why do we have so many apples? Do those go bad? Well, of course they go bad. 906. Well, I will tell you what is we're going to start. Huh, we're going to start selling apples here. Because that's something that these people want. Oh, okay, they're not worth that much. We shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be exporting a thousand of them. Maybe five hundred. Every little bit counts, though. I'll tell you that. Okay, what else? Uh, I guess we could uh, we could start selling some charcoal if we really uh really wanted to. I'll just put 5,000, because why not? Well, these apples are about to go bad, too. Okay, I have 500 in stock. Let's sell 500. Get those things out of here. All right, you're complaining there's no, there's no lime. Yes, yes, we know. We're still waiting for people to come and do the lime kiln. They're not selling lime, are they? Oh, never mind, they're gone. I just don't know why. Why they're not coming over here to do this. It's like the whole thing is dependent on people coming to actually uh, do that. Let's see, laborers gather charcoal by layers of 3,000, limestone by layers of 5,000. Oh, do we not have? We don't. He's off. He's off getting some. Okay. That's okay. I. You know, we should probably put a bridge over here. I know I said I'd do it forever ago, and I just never did. So why don't we... Can I make like a super tall... Oh, look how cool that is. It's like a train trestle, but it's uh, unfortunately too tall. Now if I did this... Maybe I want to do it from this side. Yeah, it actually morphs the terrain. I think someone was asking... 
if uh, you could do terrain modification in this game, and the answer to that is maybe. Oh, that's permanent now. That's uh, that's actually bad. Okay. Her. Okay, that's a little better. That's a little better. I'm actually not a uh, not completely sold on that either. I think now I kind of have to live with this, don't I? Okay, well, that's going to have to be good enough. So we'll uh, we'll just move that to the front of the line here. I think that's a decent enough location for it anyway. Seems to be uh, fine. They're going to take their sweet time to do that, of course. All right, what do these guys have? Warm clothes. We're going to buy some. Uh, let's just buy 500. That's fine. And then I think... Do I have one more slot? Yeah, we're going to make this for warm clothing. They can just come buy some. Now, how are we doing for our limestone layer? Not looking great because he's got to come all the way... All the way across here. Well, if we put this bridge in here, it's going to cut that distance considerably. It's also a considerable amount of work to build this bridge. But life goes on. It is what it is. And our brewery is still woefully behind, but that's okay. Should be all right. Waiting on nails, of course they are. Do we have uh oh oh we're almost out of iron. Ooh, okay, I can't buy from them. That is something I had not thought about. Uh, do we still have nails? Are we going to have enough nails? Something tells me the answer is no. Well, that's going to be an interesting problem to uh, take care of. Where's our uh, where's our guy with the cart? Hello? Who are you? Don't tell me that's the guy with the cart going up and down this incredibly steep hill. Look at him go. Speedy Gonzalez over here. Oh, he's 19, that's why. He still has energy. He's not old and decrepit yet. Alright, Dirkachi, do you have what I need? You do. I know I need to build an iron mine. We just don't have the manpower yet. So that's fine. We'll just leave well enough alone over here. It's actually kind of concerning the amount of noise coming from my computer. Maybe I should uh, dust it out. Well, that's fine. Still waiting on limestone. Yep, now they're waiting on they're waiting on nails. What a tragic story. One man against the universe. Lugging his cart all the way back. Only to drop it off and then leave once again. A futile journey. In the snow, uphill, butt naked both ways. Well, he's wearing clothes, but you get the idea. He's got to come all the way over here, that poor guy. Well, with any luck, we'll have our uh, we'll have our irons sometime soon. It looks like that is coming in, so we should see that cart come in wagon rather right through here. Yeah, I can see it in the trees. Alrighty. Unloading should be right there. And then they'll move it over to the smithy right here. And then we can have some more nails. Assuming anyone actually unloads it. Because our guy who works here is buying food currently.
This guy will get mad and leave, which is annoying. Don't leave yet. He's almost here. He's almost here. All right, unload that wagon. There you go. Good job. All right, so now we should see come in here and take care of all that stuff. There really isn't much else we can do. Oh, look at me. I said I wasn't going to make an hour 15 video, and here we are. About an hour, uh, hour 12, hour 13. I don't know exactly what the final uh, count is, because I do have to let the game run a little bit before I can uh, actually start recording. All right, let me click on this thing. Come on. We just need nails. And I see someone moving something here. Is that nails? It sure is. So come on down and uh, finish building this bridge. That person just turned around and walk away. Excuse me, sir. Taking rest. Well, I guess we should have put some uh, some benches near some of these other things a long time ago. So we are going to go ahead and stick some of them in. Because they will have to go uh, back and find a bench somewhere else that they can't find it nearby. So that's always a smart idea. All right, what do you what do you got here? I guess it's probably nails. Yeah, there you go. Build something. Finally, after all this time. Yet we still need the nails. Ah, progress stalls. Fortunately, uh, we seem to be... Yeah, we're still doing fine. Do we have our uh, warm clothing? Sure do, we have 25. Someone else died, but we had grave plots ready. We were prepared. What's cool is we can actually click on these. This is something that was just recently added. Wow, how about that? He, oh, wow, he stopped working at construction because I fired him in April, and then he died in May. That's pretty dark. Poor guy. Well, he did live to be 82 years old, though, so... If you're still working construction at 82, man, that's a hard life. That is a very hard life. Still waiting on 40 nails, really? All right, come on. It shouldn't take this long, right? This is still... This is still not nearly enough. I don't have any more people to work here, else I'd hire more, but, uh, you know, that's uh, just the way it goes. I at least have to have this bridge finished before we're done for today. We finally have everything? No, we need 20 more nails. Come on. 10 more nails. Well, maybe they're going to bring them on in. Come on. Come on. Just, just one thing. Just this one. You got a cart for 10 nails, really? You moved a cart here, all the way over here, for 10 nails. Well, they didn't even drop off nails, so I don't know what they were doing with the cart. They're just, uh, it's what they like to do in their spare time. That seems to be, uh, now they're both going back to go rest somewhere. Oh, the perils of having a faraway workplace. Come on. It's so close. It is so close. Just somebody come finish this. Come on. Will you be the one? Yes, finally. Okay. Now, this this concerns me. The uh, the the steepness of this uh, drop off right here. But hey, I'm not the one taking a cart across this, so I think it's uh, it's probably gonna be fine. All right, are we, are we making any progress with this? Oh, the cart needs fixed. Okay. I'm just going to order more carts because why not? No harm in that. How are we doing over here? We have, yeah, we have enough firewood. Seem to be uh, doing something at least. I just really want this to actually be done. So we don't have to leave stuff for next episode always. Just just finish it. Just finish it. Just go take your cart. 
Go take your cart and go all the way to my limestone. We'll just follow you. We'll watch you do it. There you go. Go across the go across the bridge. Take your cart down the perilous path of no return. Okay, that worked fine. Mine your limestone. There you go. It's like a hyperspeed Minecraft player. And come on back. That does have to be a lot better than going all the way around the entire map. So hopefully he, uh, he appreciates that. Follow this this way, across the other bridge, and into the mining camp. Cool. So we'll uh, leave him alone. It seems now that they can actually start putting some of this in here. Hopefully. Hopefully it's going to be enough. I guess I shouldn't hold my breath. There he comes again. There we go. Well, I guess that's that's probably not going to happen today anyway, which is uh, unfortunate. But look at everything else we got done. Might not look like a ton from up here, but we got our second row house. We got a couple more things taken care of over here. We got this guy hauling stuff around. Started growing some hops. Started storing some hops because, well, I guess we... Uh, does this really have unlimited storage? Because I just have 2,200 in here like it's nothing. Doesn't seem... Uh, doesn't seem like the game cares, which is uh, interesting. So I guess I could just indefinitely grow and store hops here, unless there's a cap placed on it. Which, realistically, there probably should be. Just, I guess, isn't something that has been uh, implemented quite yet. But at any rate, next episode we're going to be able to get the brewery and the distillery done. Hopefully. If we can ever start making lime. We are making and storing bricks, which is nice. Because these will be uh, requiring a lot of those. But that's all going to balance out. And I guess finally we'll get into lime production next time, although I really wanted that to uh, at least start. But food-wise, stuff is looking really good. We've got a nice population. Uh, it seems like things are kind of stabilizing in terms of wealth. Resource production is looking pretty good. Firewood, we probably should have a little more. But we're still a small enough population where I don't think it's really going to be that big of a deal. But definitely moving forward, we're going to want to look into that. And then we'll probably want to put in a couple more houses with gardens up here as these trees get cleared out. And then move the forestry either closer to these trees or put one down here. Or maybe just build a second one. But again, that's all stuff that requires bodies. And we still don't have a ton. We're trying to do a whole lot real quick, which... Is usually how I attempt to play the game, and it works out fine, but it does get a little close in the early, early mid-game. I'm just glad this guy doesn't have to go all the way around here anymore. Just kind of take a nice cut through. But yeah, that's going to be where we leave it for today. I'll probably pick this up again later in the week. I know I promised the Timberborn uh, finale today, but I just did not have time to sit down and do it the way it needed to be done. So that will be coming later in the week. I'm not sure if that's going to be tomorrow or Thursday, but it will be coming this week. Like I said, we'll pick this back up. And then we also have Anno 1800 that we need to get back to. Again, if you haven't seen the first video of that, go check that out. It was a whole lot of fun getting to uh, start our adventure there. And there's lots and lots of good stuff coming in that one as well. As soon as we find a good, uh, good day to keep doing that every week. But yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for being such incredibly supportive people viewers during the first couple episodes of the Ostrich series coming back. It has been unbelievable response. Great view counts, great engagement, and we're just having a great time playing the game and a great time talking to the comments. So as always, if you have anything to say, questions, comments, concerns, uh, want to roast me for doing something dumb or just say hi, comments are always open. I read every single one and I can't always respond, but I do read them and I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day, not only to watch the videos, but to uh, engage and be an amazing community like you always are. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.